guys and thanks for stopping by my channel so i gotta tell you something today is my filming day wasn't really in the mood to film today but i was like i need to do this because i have other things i need to do and like i need to open these things and get them done and it's really warm in here <laughs> and i am sweating like crazy does anyone care probably not but i was just brushing my hair it looks like i just got out of the shower i didn't <laughs> But how cool would I look like with a faux hawk, though? Is it my midlife crisis talking? I don't know. Anyways, you guys, I thought I would do a video where I show you what's in my mail. So this isn't friend mail. This is just stuff that I ordered, bought, whatever. Thought I'd show you guys. I thought I would share with you. What does Tiffany wears t-shirts buy for herself? Inquiring minds want to know. Or maybe not. I don't know. But I thought I'd share with you. So um, the first thing uh, I got is right here and I know what it is because I can feel it. Titus, it is so hot. Please don't make me pick you up. Come here. All right. He's standing there like shaking and crying. Give me those puppy eyes. <laughs> All right, this I bought and it's a hat. Now, I'm really picky about my, I'm really not that picky, but finding a hat that a Velcro's in the back is like becoming hard to find. They're all like either those addressable straps or those clicky straps or they're fitted, right? So I had to get this on Etsy. Uh, and um, when I looked it up, I looked up dog hat or dog hats or something. And this I want to show you this picture that showed up. <laughs> yes, and I had to include that in this video because that is one of the first things that showed up and I'm like, that is not even a hat. It's like a toupee for a dog, but totally worth it. But no, I ended up finding this. Long story long, you know. I'm not like all the other dog moms. I'm like a cool dog mom. Has anyone seen Mean Mean Girls? Um, so I got this hat, it's very ba basic, you know, but it has the, the strap, the Velcro that I like. This is what I like. My other hat that said Mo Dog Mom, just said Dog Mom. I got it from FabFitFun and the, and the uh, Velcro was wearing off. So I had to get a new one, plus it was like all getting messed up. So um, if you know Mean Girls, there's a part where the mom goes, I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. And that's me. I'm not like a regular dog mom. I'm a cool dog mom. All right, let's keep going. Tiffany, nobody cares. All right, the next thing I wanted to show you is kind of disgusting, but important. Important. Disgustingly important. I don't know about you, but not everybody's tongue is pink. I have a really short tongue, okay? But... If you're one of those people like me, who is hygienic, okay, don't judge me. I brush my teeth, I floss, I rinse, I spit. But, you know, what you need to also do is, especially if you have a tongue that gets that, like, gray film on it, you need to scrape that tongue, honey, yes. So, I bought, I didn't know I was going to get this many, but I got, I actually have one in the bathroom I'm using right now. How many came in with this thing? Four? Yes. So these are nice. These are individually wrapped, which is nice. They're, these are plastic and rubber. And then it has a container that you can put them in. That's cool. So what you do is you stick your tongue out and you scrape all the germs off your tongue. Gross? Yeah, but you know what's more gross? Not doing this. <laughs> so I highly recommend it for oral health. Um. I also bought this one. This one is metal. I couldn't decide if I would prefer metal or plastic rubber. So I got both. Oh God, these look scary. This look like something on a surgeon's table. But I feel like with the metal ones, they're gonna be easier to keep like clean, you know, because plastic and rubber will eventually harbor bacteria. And then you can't like boil them because they'll melt but you can boil these bad boys because they're um, surgical grade stainless steel, right? Oral health, guys, oral health. 
So I got that. Um, what else I want to show you that I bought? Okay, I bought this a long time ago. Okay, got this from Amazon like a long time ago and I forgot about it. And it's in my old car. I got a new car and my old car is not here. It's somewhere else. I went over to get something out of my old car and I saw this in there and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I bought this. That's like not unheard of with me. Uh, but let me show you what it is, okay? Putting it. Hold on. Cleaner! Yes, this is Mrs. Meyer's Clean Day Multi Surface Everyday Cleaner. And I got three of them. I don't know what. This smells like lemon verbena, but I know they come in different scents, right? This is lemon verbena. And I try to buy cleaners that are more natural because not only does it affect me when I use bleach and harsh chemicals, but I got to worry about the animals because they live in a small environment. And as much as I try to ventilate it, it's difficult. I have fans and windows and stuff, but it's still, I can, I can smell it. I can feel it in my lungs. I don't, I don't like it. What's it doing to them? And also I have a bird whose lungs are, I don't know, that big maybe. <laughs> and I am constantly worried about him because birds are so very sensitive. You know the old canary in the coal mine? Yes, birds are sensitive. And if there's any kind of fumes or anything like that, it can actually kill them. And I put a lot of time and money and love into my parrot. I don't want to see him die. <laughs> And he can live a very, very long time. So I need to make sure that my lifestyle coincides with his safety as well as everyone else's. You know, so anyways, long story long, again, um, I try to buy healthier types of cleaners. So this says made with plant-derived cleaning in ingredients and essential oils. And it's made without parabens or phthalates, glycol solvents, or artificial colors. So there you have it. Um, and the bottle is even made with, uh, recycled materials, materials. All right. We've spent way too much time on that. Everyone has left the video, but I'm going to keep going because there's more to show you. Um, what else do I want to show you? I got this, but I'm going to open it, but I don't know if I can show it to you because I think it's part of my enemy mail, but I want to open it so that I can the last thing and then I can send it I'm sending it to Kimmy's boxes and I can't wait because like oh, she's gonna get it she gonna get it girl but I need to open it and I have other things well, you know what that might not be in there this might be something different hold on let me get it oh, it's not what I thought it was did they send I hope they sent it because like honestly I can't wait to send that to her but this is a sticker for my car, I think. Yes. Is this the only one? And there's no way you're going to be able to see that because it's white. Well, maybe a little bit. Can you see that? It's a wolf howling. And I thought I would put that on my back window of my car because I like to put stickers on my car. I'm not just a sticker person with friend mail. No, I like to sticker my car. My Jeep that I had before the new car has all kinds of stickers on it. I mean, I, you cannot miss me when I'm riding around town. That's definitely Tiffany right there. So I figured this car, I'm gonna take it a different route. My Jeep is very Chihuahua themed, lots of Chihuahua stickers and dog love. And there's a there's a uh, Cheshire cat and Edgar Allan Poe and there's a bunch of stuff like that. This time we're gonna go a little different direction. I love wolves. Um, wolves are, are amazing. I'm kind of, it's weird because I'm kind of glad we don't actually have wolves where I live, like wild wolves, because I'd worry about like my dog and you know, but I love them. So I don't know, I guess I'm a hypocrite, but I do love wolves. Like I love that they're a pack animal and I, that's how we got dogs, you know, that kind of thing. Is there anything else in here? Just, no, they just shipped it in this thing to hold it. Interesting. I'm surprised this wasn't in my wee bargain box. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. All right, let's move on. There are some other things from Wish. 
still holding out hope that one of these things is my enemy mail that I can't show you. Yes, a little smaller than I thought, but still will work. I can't show you, but Kimmy's boxes will when she opens it, but we got it. Yay! Now I can put her box together and send it to her. Can't wait for that. All right, couple more things in here. I got all the, the, these are all things from Wish. So the car sticker, the thing I got for Kim. Um, this is another car sticker, I do believe. Yes. So this, oh, I don't know there were two of them. Did I buy two of them? This is like a flash and you put it over your front, your, uh, your headlights. Hopefully I can get these on my headlights. I don't know, but they seem like they're big enough and yeah. So I know I'm, I don't guess I'm going to have to cut them because it's supposed to go like on top of your headlight and then on the bottom. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll make it work. Got those. And then this is so small. Okay. So this is the other car sticker that I got. And I think if I have the picture, I'll show it to you because in the picture, they show it to be like a huge sticker and the sticker is right here. You know what though? This will work because where my scr I scratched my new car, you guys, and my husband's like, I can fix it, and I'm like, uh, I doubt you can. But you guys know the movie Monty Python and Search for the Holy Grail. It's like a classic, right? And this is a quote from the movie. It says, "Tis but a scratch," and it's the Black Knight scene. If you guys know what I'm talking about, and it's it's like that English humor, and it's just like dry but like I love it and so this guy is fighting this knight and he is kicking this knight's ass right and he cuts off the he cuts off the knight's arm and then and the guy goes your arm's off and the knight's like tis but a scratch and I'm gonna put this right where I scratched my car <laughs> it's so small though like this compared to the picture whatever I should have known for like a dollar or however much I spent for this you know I knew that was gonna happen so there's one last thing oh no there's a couple more things I got this these are <laughs> from Finks now if you don't know I did an unboxing before and I did a review video and these are panties that you wear when you have your period in lieu of a tampon or a pad and I already have some I can't find some of them my house is, a, is really unorganized and <laughs> I can't find them I don't know if they went under the couch and I can't really look under the couch unless Gary picks it up and he's been having back pain so I'm like don't worry about it but I went you know they keep emailing me so I went on their website and of course they got me because these were on clearance they're introducing a new line in this. This is a, this is just a brief. This is it's extra large. Okay. Now, you know, this is a brief organic cotton and this is like ma it absorbs a moderate amount during your time. And they have like different styles, different absorbencies. I've talked about it before, but these are normally like, I don't know, $38. I know they're expensive, but if you think about it, how many, how much money do you go through pads and tampons and stuff? And you just rewash this, you know, but these were on clearance for $23. And I was like, you know what? I'll buy three more and that'll be good because like how much longer am I going to have my period? Right. But I thought it was a good deal. So I bought three of them. I don't know if there's still any left. If you guys are interested and you want to try them out, clearance is the way to go in my opinion. So hopefully I don't lose these. <laughs> and then I have one last thing. And I don't, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. So I don't know. It's addressed to me. I don't know what this is. So I thought, well, I can open it with you guys. Cause I don't remember if I ordered something. I don't know. Came to my house. So what is it? Oh, Okay. Wait, what? Is this from Kohl's? 
yeah, okay. I'm gonna show you this in another video, guys, because I have another video where I'm gonna do a try-on with Cole's stuff. So, that's what that was. You know what? If I would've just looked at the bag. <laughs> where is my mind today? <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching my what's in the mailbox video. Should I make it a series? I don't know, what do you think? What do you think, is it interesting? Are you bored? Have you left? I don't know. Um, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, putting up with my weirdness, my randomness, my brutal honesty, everything I do on my channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.